Hello, and welcome to our presentation of Docs42 for Operations, the reporting solution for Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Operations. As you know, meeting the specific requirements of reports and documents is a major element of every ERP system implementation project. There are often strict requirements in terms of design and the contents of forms, labels, lists, and analyses. Modifications to these reports and documents often prove to be difficult and involve major efforts. Questions typically arising are, I have received a document template for reports from the marketing department. Can I use this template as a basis for my reports? Or, I need to modify the reports, but I am not a programmer. Can I create and change the reports myself? Using the add-on module Docs42 for Operations allows you to answer these questions with a clear yes. You can create and then change reports in Microsoft Word with all Word features available for report design. The reports are seamlessly integrated into Microsoft Dynamics 365 for operations. They use all its logic and data, and they can be opened just like any standard report. So, let's take a moment and see how this works with the familiar Dynamics 365 for Operations demo installation. First, here is the pro forma invoice for a sales order. The report that opens is based on a Microsoft Word document using some of its features, headers and footers, tables, different page formats. It even offers a special incentive for being such a great customer. Your design will look different, of course, but this Word-based invoice could be our first output. Taking a closer look, however, we notice that the sales order number is missing on the pro forma invoice, as is the external item code. And, when we present the report to marketing, we learn that the design guidelines have been updated recently and the tables need to be changed from green to blue. So, in Microsoft Word, in our template, we add a new line in the sales invoice header, type the text sales order, in the left column and drag and drop the sales order number from the Dynamics 365 for Operations field list into the right column. To show the external item code, we need to first change the headers in the columns and also make a little room. We then move the quantity field to the right and now we can insert the external item ID from the field list. Also, we need to change the alignment. Finally, we paint the tables blue to match our updated design guidelines. Take a moment and imagine how you would make these changes in SQL Server Reporting Services. The beauty of this solution lies in using Microsoft Word instead. Now that we have changed the report template, let's see the pro forma invoice again. All our changes are immediately there. The sales order number is printed as is the external item code. And marketing was right with their design update. The blue tables really do look better. The rest of the document hasn't changed. We still see the dynamic voucher and the terms and conditions. With Docs42 for operations, you have Microsoft Word as an alternative report design tool. When the solution is activated for a report, Dynamics 365 for Operations executes the same business logic as always, up to the point when the report is rendered. Then, Microsoft Word comes into action instead of SQL Server Reporting Services. So, when you need to design a new report or make any changes to an existing one, you can save massively in terms of time and costs because the solution really enables you to make the design changes yourself as has been proven by many successful implementations in the past. Thanks for taking this quick look at Docs42 for Operations. If you want to find out more about the solution or about the many additional features and advantages, simply request a free demo.